Hey guys, welcome to the third video of my series on how to publish Python packages. So in the last video, we saw how we can structure our package, uh, our Python package so that we can publish it on PyPy. So there is a specific format in which we need a structure like this. Um, I need to have a license file, manifest file, readme file and a setup.py file. And in these files, I have some content like in the setup file, I specified um, what all details uh, I have about my package. And then in manifest, I have specified what all files other than my actual Python scripts do I want to include in my package. Here is my readme file, which contains some information, which is actually a long description of my package, which will be shown on my um, Python package homepage on PyPy. Then I have the license that I've used. It is an MIT license and these are my files, uh, Python scripts. So that is all. And now uh, we are going to see that how we can publish this particular package to PyPy. So the first thing is to build the package. By building, I mean that I cannot simply um, send my files simply to um, the PyPy servers. I need to first of all um, put them into a bundle, a kind of a zip file, you can say. So for doing that, I have to do this. It is python setup.py sdist and bdist dot underscore wheel. So sdist will simply create a code archive. Code archive means um, a zip file which will contain only the code part of my uh, python package. And then there is bdist wheel which simply means binary distribution wheel. So wheels is actually a new standard of python distribution. So they are actually, uh, so this is basically a standard which will specify that um, what kind of um, zip file I have to create in which what, at what all places I have to keep different files so that PyPy can understand that and then can um, convert it to a pip installable package. So for that I have to do this. So now let me run this particular command in my project folder. So. I am in my project folder right now. So I'm just copying it. And since I have two versions of Python, I'm going to write Python 3 to specify that I'm going to run it for Python 3. And um, okay, so let me move to my. Okay, so this is my CD desktop. Okay. So now I'm on desktop and I have the weather reporter file here. So I just moved to weather reporter package and now I'm ready. So here, I, here we go. Python 3 setup.py sdist bdist underscore wheel. And now let us see what happens. It is going to create some um, zip files for me. Look at that. Okay, so it has created all the files that we need for sending the data to the PyPy servers about my package. So it has done all that. Okay, so now if I check my package, some new folders got created like build and dist. So build contains some information about my Python package and dist contains the zip files which contains um, uh, my Python scripts, my Python package in zipped form. Okay. So these are called, this is called code archive and this is called a wheel which contains my Python package in a particular format. So these are the two things which will be transferred to the um, PyPy servers. And now let us see what's next. The next thing is to install a Python package called Twine. So Twine is a Python Twine is a utility for publishing Python packages on PyPy. Okay, so you can install it using this particular pip command. So we are going to do the same. Um, let me do pip3 install twine. And now it's going to install twine for me. Okay. And yeah, so I have twine already there. So now once you have done that, the next thing is to first of all, check whether the distribution that I have created which means the um, the code archives or the zip files that we have just created, they are in the correct format or not. So for doing that, we have the we have this particular command twine check distribution. So twine check in this particular folder dist and all the files by putting slash star. So now let us see what happens. Okay, so we get 
passed which means that all the files were correct in they were in the correct format so we are ready to publish it now before publishing we would like to upload our python package on some kind of a test server so basically there is something called test pypy which is to test the python package publishing with the test python package index so python package index the pypy has another server called test pypy where we can publish our python package before actually publishing it on pypy okay and for doing that the um, format is this but before that you will need to create a new account on test pypy okay so we'll have to create an account by clicking here somewhere you, you will see the register button and you will have to create a new account and now let us see so what is this command doing is try and upload to this particular repository URL. So we are explicitly specifying that I do not want to upload it on PyPy. I want to upload it on test.pypy.org. And what do I want to upload? I want to apply my distribution folder, right? The dist. So that is what we have to write and enter. And now it is going to ask for your username. My username is this and the password is this. And now look at that what happens. It is uploading. So it uploaded the weather reporter package on test.pypy and let us see where it is. So I can just go to my projects and look at that. Here it is weather reporter and I can just click on view to check out my package. So look at that project description contains my readme file that I just created that I had created uh, initially. Right. And it is also giving a pip install command here. And here is my short description about my package. So now test.pypy.org is hosting my Python project. But right now I want to install it on PyPy. So how do I do that, right? That is the last step. So for doing that, all you have to do is twine upload and simply write dist slash asterisk, which means that upload the distribution folder on PyPy. So let us see what happens now. Okay, so it is saying that it is saying that you are trying to upload to the legacy pypy site which is this uploading to those sites is deprecated the new sites are pypy.org and test.pypy.org so try using https upload.pypy.org/legacy okay so i can do something like this um control shift c and I can simply, yeah, yeah, I can here specify upload.pypy.org slash legacy. So it is just giving me um, some suggestion that I should upload it here. So this is the URL. Okay. So let us see what happens. So it is now asking me for my username. So you will have to go to pypy.org and create an account there as well. So I just create, uh, I have created an account already. So I'm just going to enter my username and password and look at that it is uploading it and we are gonna see that yeah it's done so our package just got uploaded on pypy as well and i will have to make a very small correction here so i will just put it and i will simply upload this Jupyter notebook somewhere so that you can directly check it out so so this is the correction here so we have got a correction that you will have to specify this particular repository URL. So actually Twine was using a default repository URL, which was actually, um, you can say deprecated. So that's why you need to specify it um, explicitly. That's it. So that is um, the, uh, that is all about how we can upload it. And now let us check out pypy.org. And here I go to my projects. And now pypy.org has weather reporter, right? So I can just try to view it and look at that weather reporter a python package to get weather report for any location and all so yeah it is done i have created my weather report 1.0.0 if you do any kind of correction to your project then you can simply change the um, version of your project in the setup.py and then you can again create a new distribution and then you can again write twine upload um, and the repository url and it will again upload it with a new version so that is what you have to do um, I think I will make a new video for showing you that. Okay. So yeah, that's it from this video. How can you um, create a new um, Python package? And just to ensure that everything is working fine, let us try pip install sudo pip3 install weather reporter. Let us try it out. 
So look at that. It is collecting weather reporter and yeah, it is done. So it has installed weather reporter for me. And now let me try weather reporter dash H to see some health commands. Look at that. Yeah, it's working. Weather report query Delhi. Um, okay, so it's weather report query Delhi. And I think it should work. Yeah, so it's working. So in this way, I have created my own Python package and it is pip installable and it is also working through a command line application. So yeah, it's all perfect. And this is how you do it. In the next video, we're gonna see how we can update our Python package. So that's it from this video. Thanks for watching.